Are you going to hurt yourself going that way? Hold on. that large tree I guess. I'm close to this one. I, I had one large that I broke off. But... Well you pulled that one out. Can you pull that one out? Yeah. I can. Give me a uh, 200 years when it's dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait a minute. That won't work will it? No because you'll probably be dead too by then. Probably yeah. I would think so. God I would hope so. Alright. First order of business would be the milk bottle. What, what I started this whole project for. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the other day when we were here, Gil found a really cool disc that had the face of Christ on it. And I just hit something down here. And I think it's a figure of Christ. Arms outstretched, yep. You can even see the crown of thorns on it. Oh yeah, I can so pretty, from here. Yep. Pretty crude, but still pretty cool. Makes it look ancient. Yeah, well it is. <laughs> when they threw it away in the 40s or 50s, it probably had some age to it, you know? Probably. So but, anyways, that's cool. I'm happy with that. That can be my big find for the day. That's a good one, yeah. So now we both found Jesus. I had him before, but... <laughs> <laughs> then you lost him, I found him, and got him back. Right. I don't want them anymore. Yeah, well, yeah, you do. Don't say that. <laughs> Can't make jokes about Jesus like that. This would have been a, um, a cracked bottle, I believe. I think so. Yeah, it's got writing all over the bottom. Let's see what it says. It's England. Or no, not England. Castle, Pennsylvania. You ever can can't Castle, Pennsylvania? Uh uh. That's where this piece is from. Nope. Yep. I got one finally. Finally got a marble to start the day. We've been at it for what? About 15 minutes, haven't we? Yeah. Yep. What red, color is it? Red, white, and blue one. Just a cool. Little red here, little white, little blue. Pretty cool. All Paper. right. Found some of them. Get them all. Nice blue one. Yeah, I had a clear glass one, it was like the first one I found like that, but I don't see it. I'm not going to come over that way, because that would be getting into your area. That wouldn't, that wouldn't matter anyway. Any way you want to go. 
we run into each other, we'll have a, a, a thumb wrestling match to see who gets the right away. <laughs> Jar. Action. Another man in his jar, of course. Still we're looking for that second marble of the day. Ooh, a pistol. The barrel of a pistol. Not the part we're used, used to finding. We used well, that's to cool, though. Butt half. It could go to one of the ones we already know, because it's got most of it there, except for the handle part, right? Yeah. And it's cocked and ready to <laughs> cap, too. Watch out, it's loaded, man. It's This one says... Uh, So they're talking to you again? <laughs> you mean it reads? This one reads. There we go, that's the... R-O-D-E something. Rodeo gun, all right. I bet you that is, yeah. Some okay. kid at the rodeo. Yeah, cool. Gil, I want those marbles. Gil. Sure. Now. Slew of them. All of them. I'm holding you at gunpoint. Uh-oh. You're just ignoring me. I don't see you. You can't shoot me if I don't see you. <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Not creamer, um, it's cold cream. Oh. Yeah, milk glass creamer, I would hang on to that one. A tiny red bead. Really? A little baby red bead. Yeah. Glass bead more than likely. Yeah. Probably my best find for the day. <laughs> Good way to start. Pattern on it. Men's clone, probably. Yeah. The 1940s and 1950s bottles that we've been finding here have a really unique shape and look of their own. It's a nice one. Yeah, it's not too shabby. Collector, probably is a collector following. Of course, it's a collector following for cologne bottles just as well as perfume bottles. Right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yep. Did it say Avon on it or did you look on the bottom? No, I didn't. Me either. Please don't don't read Avon. Avon? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. <laughs> you ever let your toenails get too long where you're, they hurt? You gotta, you gotta cut them because your, your toes are all hurting because they don't fit in your shoe anymore. No, but they're getting that long because David lost the clippers. Oh, yeah, mine were kind of aching the other day. And I said, this time this morning, I clipped those fuckers back, man. There's a whole jar of, looks like it could have been the shape of a, it's the shape of a peanut butter jar, it looks like. Found all the marbles, huh? Yeah. Finally happened. We dug them all out. Put this old sniffer on them and snuffed them all out. <coughs> well, even if we did, that was a nice grouping of them. Yeah. I think I'm finding something up there. Very button. Diligently at it, we we'll dug up a sunflower button. That's pretty cool. I bet you that's 19, it's 1940s, at Should I least. Give it some water? Huh? Does it look healthy? Should I water it? <laughs> I think it's surviving, huh? Turn to fossil. Uh oh. All right, that lifted my spirits a little bit. Yeah, it's hardened the puns. <laughs> right? You know, I hadn't even thought of that. Yeah. Yeah. If you really want to lift your spirits, here's whiskeys. Whiskey cat. <laughs> totally read it so it's trash. I mean, I know it's not, but, but that looks like something that you dig up in ancient Rome or something, you know, yeah. just because of how deteriorated that it is. Well, 
don't think you can actually say you know it's not, because what if it is? It could be. What? Well, brought be here, good. you know? Yep. I was Melly tucking in the, in the kids' park and found that Roman coin from the year 330, you know? That was, that is a... In a kid's park, and it wasn't far down, so someone actually lost it recent, you know? That was a really amazing find, though. Yeah. My oldest coin to date. It wasn't monetary value coin, it was commemorative for everyone to put in their pocket. Yep. And it now resides in my collection. You still have that one? Yes, I sure do. All right. So I thought Jim this? bought it from you. No. He, I don't think I even showed it to him. Oh, I did. He didn't want it. He, I was going to sell it to him, and he didn't want it. Because he didn't want to pay the $20 I was wanting for it. And it was worth, it's worth 20 Yeah, it is. I don't remember what I gave you for it, but... Not 20 <laughs> No. No. Nah. Probably traded for some food or something. <laughs> barter. This bartering, is, bartering best, right? Yep. This is some kind of a broken pendant. It, it's got gold toning on it. Kind of like a really fancy edge work. You can turn that camera towards you if you wish. I just did when I took that out. Uh, People probably get sick of seeing me. They'd like to see somebody else for a Besides, it's off, yo. All right. That's my favorite time off camera. <laughs> Not really. It is on. Oh, you jerk. <laughs> <laughs> That's got to be on my best behavior, huh? Because I don't know. No, I'm hoping that you'll forget that it's on and go ahead. just and be yourself. Ramble on like I usually do. No, you have some interesting stories to tell. Yeah. I, I freeze when I'm on camera, though. Well, just forget A lot of people do. I know it. I used to... Well, that's how I got my teeth repaired. I wouldn't even be on camera. I did all my videos. I was not on any of them. Yeah. I found another pin back, but like the rest of them, you just can't. They're just destroyed. The water gets in them, you know? Yeah. Destroys the pictures, unless, unless the pin back's of brass. Has it got anything? Yeah, it was nothing. Nothing? Nothing. I'm not sure. I don't think, I don't think Oh, well, it was probably too big. Yeah. yeah, the kid Superman's ring probably was a lot smaller than that one. Alright, I just found something down here. It's kind of cool. I found part of this chain earlier. Dug up this part of the chain and it has a a leaf um, charm. Charm on it. Right? Yeah. And I just found a marble. Gil found a marble. I found more than Gil this time. What is that? It's similar to that stuff from them two little salt shakers. Oh, cool, yeah. Asian, Asian wear. Boy, that's really thin too. Yeah, yeah, it's got a nice little flower design on it. I think it was a little, little creamer, wasn't it? Tiny I bet you it was. Creamer. Yeah. Go with those little baby salt and pepper, man. Those guys had some small hands, didn't they? Yeah, those were, those were really cool pieces. The salt and pepper ones. Yeah. yeah. I thought so too. I'll leave it on for a bit. More than likely, the match to both of them are here somewhere. You know. I wonder if there's any more charms in here. Got to be. You don't throw away a charm bracelet with one charm left in it. You throw the whole thing away. You know, all the charms in the tag. You would think so. I don't know. I don't Those know. poor kids that got a charm bracelet with one charm and couldn't afford it anymore. <laughs> and so they just got pissed off and threw it away. Threw it away, yeah. I don't want this. <laughs> Memories of my cheap childhood. Everyone always wants it better for their children. I never thought about that. <laughs> I did. Nah, not me. Kathy and I spent a lot on Dennis and Charlene for their birthdays and Christmas. I wasn't hoping. I wasn't hoping more for my kid. I was hoping my kid could get, get what I had when I was a kid. That's what <laughs> I was hoping. The sequel of what I used to get, you know. Yeah. That didn't even happen. Well, look at here. He's got the best upbringing in the world. Well, look at here. Get something special. Red and white. Can't, you bitch. Oh, man. That's how many for me now? Five? No, two. <laughs> no. Three. This is four. Four. That's I five, think. I think. Go yeah. here and I'll, I'll call them and we'll tell you. Is that another <laughs> large one? That's a huge one. That's another Havsies, isn't it? What is it about that spot over there, the Havsies? I don't know. This is the marble of all the marbles, man. You found the marble of all the marbles. You're yeah. the marble king. Well... This is like oxblood, for real. Really? Yeah, this isn't fake oxblood, this is the real thing. <laughs> okay. It's got a pontal and everything, man. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. It has a pontal? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I knew that, I knew they'd get to go. <laughs> Throw that back this way. <laughs> uh oh, someone's, someone's parked in your favorite spot. Where? That's a 
building. PD's place? Let's see, I found two marbles, and if I count the ones you found, one, two, you got two and I got two, so this makes three to two. No, actually you have four. This makes five for you, man. You're up you're up five to two. I'm not gonna catch you now. Oh, I don't little, want it, but it's some kind of little freezer door thing, yeah. man. Yeah, it's brass, I'll take that. I'll go in the oh, okay, yeah. Nice piece of brass. So you're the closest to the bowler that we have here today. We got two of them that are quite large. One one I don't think is any larger than the other one. They're both monsters. I can't believe either of us have found one of those though. Well, actually, the one you just found is a little larger than that large one you just found. Is it really? Yep, just a little bit. You can see it when you look at them. Okay. Yeah, no, no bowlers. It's weird. Nope. I know it's time for a cigarette, though. Yeah, you're Pocket right. a million dollar marble like that one. And your friend doesn't know what it's worth. It's time for a cigarette. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. What'd you get? This is a cool old razor. It's got nice designs on it. In got Art Deco era? Perhaps. I don't know, it kind of has that look to it, but the handle is definitely plastic, probably Bakelite. Yeah. So, so that's kind of cool. I was getting disgusted earlier because I wasn't finding anything. But since I found that Jesus figurine. Yeah, it's been picking up, hasn't it? I think I'll have one too. Don't move. Why? That guy's up there in his car wants to get emotional over here. Come on, I'm coming over here and saying, what are you guys doing? <laughs> Alright. <coughs> I think it's safe now, he's in the tire. Okay. Fucking fag, man. Huh? Gotcha. Totally obliviated picture of what, was, what it once was. I forgot to show that. That uh, just that face of Christ. Yeah. On the other video, so I will put that on with this one today. Add it, add it on to it. Yeah. So I thought that was a pretty cool find. Yeah. Yeah. They got a name for that crown behind them. Oh, it's a crown of thorns. I mean, Is that what it was? Okay. Yeah. Oh. I thought I found one with like a shroud behind them. That was a Mother Mary one. Like a round Here? shroud behind them, yeah. That plastic one I found didn't have like a round shroud behind them. Well, it was a, it was on a disc, yeah. It was on a disc. Yeah. Oh, all right. That's where the disc actually had a crown of thorns on there. Yep. yep. Did you throw something over here? Uh. -uh. Oh, must have rolled off this here by a hill, man. Ready to clap and. Did I throw anything at you? Of course not. This is helping the cameras on. Yeah, I don't believe you anymore. Got people deceived into believing I'm nice. Ah. Well, Gil and I returned to the dump site today. This is the 30th of October. Beautiful day here in Saginaw. Just beautiful. Found some really cool stuff. I wish I'd have taken the camera with me, but I, I'm always worried about getting dirt in the in the lenses and stuff. But I want to show you some of the things that we found today, because um, some of them are pretty cool, I think. So let's take a look. The very first thing I found is this cool little race car, and I believe it is probably 1930s era probably made out of lead I have the wheel and the piece there that's broken on the side or the tire and so I can glue that together and it's just really a cool little little piece and I, I love to find cars and toys and this car just really is super cool then speaking of cars there's not a whole lot I can do to try to fix this one up but it is uh, a 19, okay, it is a 19, I believe, 30s or early 40s uh, rubber toy car. It has a driver whose head is missing. And in the back seat is a little dog sitting there. So I can clean it up. 
and I well clean it up as best I can. And I have a special display that I'm thinking of building that I will be able to use that in. But very cool piece. So the two cars today. Then we found another another uh, kid's toy gun at both sides of it this time. There is no writing on it. So it's just a, a generic. Wait a minute, there is writing on it. Oh, it's another rodeo rodeo gun. So that's kind of cool. Now, one of my favorite heroes of the from the. Then if we come over here, this is a little girl's ring. A little girl's ring needs cleaning really badly. It's got a a, a light blue stone in it. It's hard to see because it's kind of crusty with stuff, but. That was a cool find, and I'll be cleaning that up. And then this piece of jewelry, let me hold it up just a second. It is blue, glass, presumably glass, and it is very pretty, faceted. And I also found the little uh, ornamentation that goes around it. Well, we found a, found a little majorette dancing girl, and something I've not seen before is this uh, 1940s inkwell. Um, you'd put your ink bottle in here and your, I, presumably your pens in here. It is chipped, I just noticed that, but that's okay. I found it, so kind of unique to me anyways. Um, boy, if the pocket watch I found could talk, that would be so cool. But this pocket watch came out of the ground and it's, uh, it's neat. It might have been somebody's family heirloom at one time that broke and they couldn't fix it. So that's a that's a really nice piece. I like it. I found that bunny the other day. Here's another bunny, but it's on a broken handle from an Easter basket. So that little bunny somehow I'm going to work into one of my scenes. Sorry, the light's kind of wacky right now. Wacky, wookie. This, I don't know what it is. If anybody has an idea, please let me know in the comments. I'd appreciate it. It's made out of porcelain. It's cream color. It has a hole right there where my thumb is, and then it has a depression here. So I am clueless on that. And on life in general. <laughs> this Carter's ink bottle, uh, you know, these were still being made when I was a kid back in the 60s. And inside it, separated uh, for the, to dip your pen in the, in the ink there. I don't know if you can see that, but it's separated from the rest of the bottle. A soft drink I never heard of before. Hep. This one was bottled by Red Rock in Bay City. It looks really a lot like a 7-Up uh, bottle, which I have one right here that we dug up the other day that, you know, just for comparison, it looks about the same. Okay, then just very various odds and ends after that. But some really cool stuff. My favorites were the car, the other car, the Green Hornet, and the gun. So I hope you enjoyed taking a look at these pieces. Um, as I said, it's really, it's really, really nice here in Saginaw today. But, but just like springtime. And uh, tomorrow's supposed to be the same way. So who knows, I might be back out there tomorrow. I don't know, but thanks a lot for watching, and love y'all.